here for today. A W. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Let's see if y'all hey, let's see if y'all boys on it or not, though. See if y'all boys know what time it is. Okay. What time is it? Crystal clear day on the first coast here at Everbank Stadium. You've won one, you're trying to win two in a row, and it starts a really difficult stretch. Big game for the Jags today. Yeah, and his team found its energy in London last week, and they need to carry it over today, but also find a confidence against a good, well-rounded Green Bay football team. The Jaguars entering a toughest stretch of their schedule today, and Tony, if they can find a way to win, it could propel them through this stretch and maybe get back to the postseason conversation. Fast and physical together all day long. Go ahead, man. And Jeff, our defensive player to watch is the weak side linebacker, Foye Aluokan. Yeah, he returns after four games of being inactive with a Liz Frank foot injury, but he is the captain of the ship, the leader of the defense, and they need him in a big way for this defense to improve against an explosive offense. And if this Jaguars defense is not assignment clean today, it could make for a long day, and Foye will help the coverage underneath, certainly with the tight end. We're in first down, man. Let's hurry. Ball out. Let's hurry. Everybody get that ball. There you go. Another sideline is Jordan Love, who is dynamic, makes a lot of big plays, 15 touchdown passes on the year, and that's missing two games. But he also is tied for the league's interceptions. He's going to give you an opportunity to get your hands on the ball. Just gets it off, drops the throw. Fires left side, that ball is picked off, I believe, by Jarian Jones. Yes, it was. What a play by the rookie. He picked it off and stepped out of bounds at the six-yard line of Jacksonville. Until I knew that they were coming. I started the formation. Pick it. What a great play, and you know what? This Jaguars defense has been struggling in the takeaway category, and Jari and Jones steps right in front of Dobbs, and that second foot is really close to the sideline, and looking at the replay, ooh, it's really close. Play fake. Trevor drops from his own end zone, fires downfield, that ball's picked off. The safety was kind of waiting on it, kind of went right to him, he picked it off. Inside handoff, Josh Jacobs into the end zone, touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run for the Packers, and Green Bay strikes first at Everbank Stadium. Second down and six from the 24-yard line. Pistol formation this time, dropping to Jordan Love. Stepping up now. Fires deep downfield and wide open as his tight end. Broke a tackle 40, 35, 30. Stiff arming to the 20, still on his feet, still stiff arming inside the 10 yard line. That is Tucker Crab, wide open in the middle of the field. And right now the Packers are just shutting down the running game of the Jaguars and they're not able to respond. You know, it's 0 for 3 on third downs and they've got 24 yards of offense, not very good. Play fake, Trevor drops, looking, fires downfield and that ball is going to be caught by Christian Kirk. First down in Green Bay territory for the 45, inside the 40 yard line. They throw a wide receiver screen. Brian Thomas to 30, 25 yard line. The rookie got it inside the 20. Ah, come on! Trevor keeps it on his own read. Spins away from the tackle, lowers his shoulder near the goal line. Touchdown! Trevor Lawrence lowered his shoulder. He carried some Packers into the end zone for the score. Let's go! Let's go! Ah. Hey guys, for as bad as it appeared it was going to be in the first quarter, the Jags are sitting pretty only down a touchdown. If you happen to get a field goal going into the half, you got to feel great if you're Doug Peterson and your coaches there. That's Parker Washington made the catch. He's going to be out of bounds near midfield. A terrific corner out by Parker Washington. Four-man rush, Trevor drops. Looks, fires deep downfield with Brian Thomas Jr. The rookie makes the catch. He's going to be attacked at the 20-yard line, and Doug Peterson calls the timeout. Boy, Green Bay, their defense rarely makes a mistake. But boy, did they make one right there. Not covering Brian Thomas Jr. in a bunch formation on the right side. 
Once they all kind of go their own way, the Green Bay Packers let Brian Thomas Jr. all alone on the deep third over there. But here we go now, a 39-yarder. Kim Little is 11 out of 12 on the year here. A 39-yarder from the right half with seven seconds to play in the half. Cook puts it down, Little kicks it up, and the 39-yard field goal is good. Boy, is this guy good. He's 12 out of 13 on the year, and it's a 13 to 10 game with three seconds to play in the half. All right, guys, at halftime, Doug Peterson was very calm. He said, guys, it has nothing to do with what the Green Bay Packers are doing and everything to do with us. We talked about being able to dominate the middle eight, so come out on offense and score. Look for the Jaguars to attack. They smell a little blood in the water. Steps up, fires to the back of the end zone. Brian Thomas Jr., did he double catch it? Yes, it, and touchdown! Let the man, let the, let the go! I do, man, he me. Malik Willis will be the quarterback going forward here for the Green Bay Packers. Well, this is a big point in the game. You gotta find a way just to hold on. Jacobs, too much room, made a man miss, 30. Inside of 30, broke a tackle, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Josh Jacobs is into the end zone. Trevor hangs in there against the blitz, scrambles to his left. He hits and the ball's fumbled. The ball came out. The Packers, I believe, have it. Yeah, disappointing as it is, this is a great opportunity for us to see how far the Jags have come when it comes to resilience and grit. Early in the year, they fell apart whenever a little adversity struck. Let's see how they respond right now. Let's go. Let's go. This will be a situation where you got a bunch of guys who've probably never been on the field together playing wide receiver, and you got you have to go 87 yards, and you're gonna have to do it with a bunch of guys that you didn't plan on being out there because your starting three receivers are on the sideline or in the locker room. Dropping again is Trevor. Looking downfield, fires downfield. That ball's gonna be caught and stepping out of bounds after the catch is Parker Washington. Trevor scrambles right, fires middle field, caught the earnest shots, and he's got it in the pack of territory. What a job by Trevor Lawrence. Trips left, he drops, it's another blitz. Fires middle of the field, it's caught, that's a first down. Brenton Strange has it. That's a first down inside the 15-yard line. That's a heck of a throw by Trevor Lawrence. That one was on a rope. 154 to play in the ball game. Dropping the throw, four-man rush. Trevor looks, fires toward the corner of the end zone, and that ball is caught! Somehow caught! Evan Ingram went up! He out jumped three defenders. He was not going to be denied. Evan was going to catch that thing. Touchdown, Jacksonville, a 14 yarder with 148 to play in the ball game. What a catch! Oh my God. That's a quarterback that trusts his guy. You're down your receivers, but he's a tight end who can play like a receiver. We just saw it. That's just going to the corner of the end zone. He's covered front and back. Trevor puts it up high, and boy, he went up and got it. The Jaguars trail by 10 with under six minutes remaining in the fourth. Ten consecutive points, they have tied the game at 27. Malik Willis remains in at quarterback for Green Bay after Jordan Love suffered a groin injury earlier. You know, prior to this game, having some conversations with a lot of the guys that are in here, and I was sitting there saying, look, they're probably gonna have to score th over 30 points to win this ball game. Green Bay's just been that powerful all year long, but I didn't expect them to have to score more than 30 with Malik Willis at the helm. Play fake, dropping the throw now is Malik Willis. Fires deep downfield, man wide open. Reed is wide open, 30, 25, 20. That was a busted coverage on a throwback and a huge play that time to Jaden Reed inside the 20 of the Jaguars. On the last play of the game, McManus kicks it up. The chip shot field goal is good. And the Packers have defeated the Jaguars 30-27 at Everbank Stadium.